down. Let's move on to this, shall we? Garfield, thankfully, was not the only film to open in uh, theaters this weekend. Ray disapproves. Another film, the newest in George Miller's Mad Max saga, Furiosa. Also open in theaters this weekend. We went out to go see it. Now, they gave us a big presentation for it at uh, CinemaCon, and it looked really good, looked intense, looked great. Early reactions were kind of saying, super intense, great action, story might be a little thin, but overall, a, a real banger. So it's with that we went in there. Now, just to remind everybody, right now, the critic score for it is a 89%, and the audience score is currently sitting at 95%. Do I agree with this? I do. Uh, I, I really do. This is an epic film. Like, it's shot in such a way, and, and, and this can partially be said about the uh, last film, uh, Fury Road, as well. But when you look back at the older films, some older films at any rate, films like Cleopatra, films like Ben-Hur, things like that, there is a, you know what you mean when you see something that, that feels like it's epic, in scale. Even more so than Fury Road, this movie feels like an epic. It feels like a George Miller epic. Let me get my criticism out of the way. It's a little long. And there are a couple of moments in the film here and there that feels like it's dragged out and really could have had five, ten minutes cut out here and there and that kind of stuff. That's my biggest critique of the film. Because how, how long is this movie, Ray? Let like, me it was like, that for you. Wasn't it like two hours and 20 minutes or something like that? Which isn't the longest movie, but it, it felt a little bit long. But I'll tell you what. The action, every bit is on par with the... It is two hours, two and, 20 hours and 28 minutes. Two hours and 20 minutes. And the action, every bit is on par as with Fury Road. Uh, the world they built, it's awesome seeing Immortan Joe again and his idiot kids and that and the citadel and the whole thing and going back to the badlands but let me tell you this right now while the headline name is Anya Taylor Joy which that is never a bad thing cuz she's amazing and she's great in this movie make no mistake about it this is Chris Hemsworth's movie in my opinion um because Anya Taylor Joy I remember when Anya Taylor-Joy first came on screen, I looked down my watch. She doesn't even show up in the movie till about an hour into the movie. And I'm not sure, I'd have to go back and count, but I'm not sure Anya Taylor-Joy has more than 10 to 12 lines in the film. She's mostly, you know, Chris, you put it, you put it perfectly. She's kind of like a Mad Max, Max in this. Yeah. She's more grim and her performance is fantastic even without dialogue but she's like more grim and more silent more often than not. But she does have dialogue, but not a ton of it. But Chris Hemsworth's in this movie from the beginning to the end. And his character, Dementis, is so good. And seeing him going face-to-face -face with Immortan Joe is awesome. And it's just incredible. And again, the, the intensity that Anya Taylor-Joy brings to the role is incredible. The vehicular action and violence is like pure peak Fury Road. It's so good. And it's so engaging and it's so thrilling. And, and getting to see the war boys again and all this kind of stuff and following Furiosa's journey to becoming who it is she ultimately becomes is really fantastic. Now, I'm not ready to say that Furiosa is better than Fury Road, but it I'll just say it is a worthy follow-up. This is a worthy follow-up. And I'm not big on prequel stories. I rather stories go forward. I would have rather have seen a Furiosa movie following Charlize Theron after the events of Fury Road. Yeah. That's what I would have preferred to have seen. That being said, they decided to do, do a prequel story and George Miller just, kills it i don't miller's approaching his 90s isn't he oh and he has not lost an ounce of his potency like not an ounce 79 this, he's 79 so he's approaching his 80s yeah this guy has not lost an ounce of his potency he is still totally on top of his game yeah uh the performances he was able to bring out of all these characters and this world is fantastic I'm not going to say this is a top five film of the year. Like, I don't think it's going to okay. end up as a top five. Mm. 
but I could see it ending up in my top 10 of the year. It's it's a real good, fun movie that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. Wow. Anyway, Ray, you had a chance to see, uh, you had a chance to go see this movie with me. My first exposure to Mad yeah, Max. Yeah, because you never saw Fury Road. No. So this is So a- he went in watching Furiosa in chronological order. Yeah. And in, I'm in telling you, <laughs> this character has left an impact on me. Just the character itself. I really like this character. The strength of this character, the perseverance. Like, I, I think this is one of my favorite movies of the year so far. It could be in my top five. There's only three or four parts I didn't like about it. And they, they, they all have to do with the same thing. There's some shots where it's like, wow, that's they're not they're not there. Like the window parts, like let's say in the chase and the window, you could tell it's a screen where it looked really bad. I mean, even in the Hawkeye chasing, it didn't look, it looked fantastic. So I know it's possible to do it. I just don't know if they, it, it was something that- Let me throw this in here. There's a scene in the movie where, because there is some bad visual effects. Yeah, there's like- Particularly three compositing. Yeah. Because there's this one scene in particular where Chris Hemsworth, Dementis, is driving this truck. And he's moving it forward, and then he's moving it backwards, and he's moving it forward. And the camera's on him. And you can so tell yeah. that he's green screened and composited wow. into the truck. Like, it it, it was very off-putting. Yeah. So he the, can do his own stunts, but parallel parking was a doozy? I, I what mean, the here's, hell? here's the funny thing. Like, so much of this movie is practical effects. Okay, like w- right? right? So that when they do throw in some of the visual... It's, and look, maybe there's some mm. remarkable visual effects that we didn't even realize were visual effects. But there are a couple of moments in the film where particularly the compositing made it was a little bit jarring. And that one shot for me was one okay. of them. But what, other than that, it did no big deal. This world, what I enjoy the most is just the primitive, like sort of weapons that they're that they create and use. Even some of the things they ride on, if you look at closely, it's things put together like gears and bolts. Like it's a bunch of like makeshift vehicles that's when you look close, it's like, oh, that's, that's a motorcycle inside, a, like on top of a car or this and that, mm-hmm. that that make it work to make it look menacing. I'm like, that stuff to me, I'm not a gearhead, but this this movie makes me want to be a gearhead. You know what I mean? There like, was I, one shot that came out from the movie um, and it works even better in the movie. So like Chris Hemsworth, you know, he's basically his, his whole uh, horde rides motorcycles and he's on a chariot like a Roman emperor with three motorcycles <laughs> pulling it and he controls the motorcycles with these straps like he's like he's reining in horses it's so and just crazy. like so i saw the picture of it and i thought oh that looks cool but then you see it in the movie it's like i want that i want to go barreling down the 405 with my chariot of three motorcycles and i i want that so bad guys we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video Cuts clothing. Let's be real. Most guys would wear a t-shirt every day of their lives if we could. The problem is that most t-shirts are not acceptable to wear at work or out on a hot date. Today's sponsor, Cuts, has finally changed that. Cuts t-shirts are such high quality, wrinkle-free, and so buttery soft that you can look like you're dressing up even when you're dressing down. Yeah, you heard that right. They are wrinkle-free. And for a limited time, you can save money while redefining the dress code by heading to cutsclothing.com and you the code Campia for 20% off. Guys, you know me, when it comes to clothing, my number one priority is comfort, and I could not believe just how comfortable my cut shirt was. It was light, it breathed, it felt like a million bucks, and it made me feel like I looked like a million bucks too. And the best part? Cut's clothing is built to last. Their durable construction means you'll be enjoying your favorite shirts and pants for years to come, making them a smart investment for your wardrobe. So guys, for a limited time, our listeners get 20% off your entire order when you use the code campia at checkout that's 20 percent off your order at cutsclothing.com with the promo code campia please support our show by telling them that the john campia show sent you experience the perfect blend of style and comfort with cuts clothing but anyway cool. chris you did not you were supposed to go see this no last night. i was supposed to see it and then gosh dang it i like my students too much and we went over by 30 minutes so i missed my screening and all that was left was 4dx and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't, you guys. And even <laughs> Logan, who loves 4DX, was like, I think you are going to hate this experience so much. And he wants me to like the movie. That's a good marriage right there. So we're seeing it right when I get home today. I'm going to go pick him up and then we're going to go to a regal. Where's your, ex- where, where's your expectation? Like, did you like Fury Road? Loved Fury ex- Road. Loved Fury Road. My concern is, do we top 
uh, the the uh, Dufourier guitar guy? Like, were your motorcycle chariots there the are, same equivalent of guitar guy? I I will him. just say there's some alluding. Mm. Let me let me just let me just leave it at that. There's okay. some there's there's some alluding. Okay, I can deal with that. Yeah, I'm really psyched about it. I love Chris Hemsworth. I just watched his wonderful Hot Ones episode where he was talking about this experience and everything and how much fun he had playing Dementis. And I really just want this guy to thrive outside of his role as Thor. He's so awesome. I he's, love him. I think he he's so, so awesome. great. I think he's a great actor. I think he's a smart businessman. And I want to see him have a fun, juicy villain role. And I'm really happy to hear that this delivers. My favorite review I've heard so far, I think it was A.A. A. Dowd, uh, said that you won't miss Max. You won't miss either, you know. You don't. You don't. Either version of that, because this is just a baptism of petrol and blood is the direct quote he used. And I was like, <laughs> oh, that's all I need. Let's go. I don't care who Max is, actually. <laughs> uh, oh, um, I was going to say something, but I won't. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Yeah, let's... <laughs> um, look, uh, again, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say it's better than Fury Road. I'm, I'm not there, but it's a truly worthy successor to Fury Road. This is a fun, bombastic movie. Get out to see it. Uh, because according to the opening weekend box office tracking, I think there are going to be some seats available. So go out and see it. I think you're going to have a good time. It's, but if you liked Fury Road, I feel very safe in saying you will like Furiosa. It's it's absolutely, absolutely phenomenal film. Well done again, George Miller. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Did you have a chance to get out there and see Furiosa? If so, what did you think? If not, are you planning on see it? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comments section below. And let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.